social democracy and democratic socialism. Are they the same or are they different? Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome back to the channel where we'll be comparing and contrasting core philosophies, economic systems, the role of government, welfare, and examples between social democracy and democratic socialism. Let's first compare their core philosophies. Social democracy advocates for a mixed economy, combining market-oriented capitalism with social policies aimed at reducing inequality and ensuring social justice. Its core philosophy is to strike a balance between the private sector and the government's role in promoting welfare. Democratic socialism seeks to transform capitalist societies into socialist ones through democratic means. It advocates for the redistribution of wealth and the democratization of the economy, where workers have a greater say in decision-making processes. Next, let's compare their economic systems. Social democracies maintain a predominantly capitalist economic system with private ownership of businesses and industries. However, they believe in regulating the economy through progressive taxation, labor laws, and social programs to promote economic equality and protect vulnerable citizens. Democratic socialists challenge the traditional capitalist economic system by advocating for worker-owned cooperatives and public ownership of key industries. They aim to reduce income inequality and give workers more control over their work and economic outcomes. Now let's look at the role of government. In social democracies, the government plays an active role in providing social services, education, healthcare, and other essential needs. It intervenes in the market to correct market failures and maintain a stable, fair economic environment. Democratic socialism envisions a more significant role for the government in managing the economy and ensuring that wealth and power are more evenly distributed. The government is responsible for overseeing industries in the public interest and protecting workers' rights. Now on to the last comparison, let's take a look at welfare. Social democracies prioritize building a robust welfare state to ensure a high quality of life for their citizens. This includes universal health care, education, unemployment benefits, and various social safety nets. Similar to social democracy, democratic socialism also emphasizes a comprehensive welfare system. However, it goes further by aiming to eliminate poverty and guaranteeing access to basic needs like housing, education, and health care as a right. Lastly, let's take a look at three countries often considered as social democracies. Sweden is frequently cited as a prime example of a social democracy. It has a mixed market economy with extensive welfare programs, high levels of public spending on healthcare, education, and social services, and a strong emphasis on social equality. Denmark is another prominent social democracy known for its comprehensive welfare system, universal healthcare, and generous social benefits. It combines a market economy with a high degree of social protection and income redistribution. Norway is often included in the list of social democracies due to its significant state involvement in various sectors of the economy, including oil and gas, education and healthcare, and the country prioritizes social welfare and maintains a high standard of living for its citizens. When we look at democratic socialism examples, there aren't really any countries that fit the definition exactly. Historically, an example of a democratic socialist government was back in the United Kingdom between 1945 and 1951. Large sectors of the economy were taken into the public ownership, the government took responsibility for ensuring minimally decent standards of living, as well as those who implemented this vision self-identified as socialists. Did you enjoy this video comparing social democracy and democratic socialism? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.